Yeah, A is for Abby. Ice cream. He knows his ice cream. He is my child. I is for ice cream. We are just playing on this morning. Oh, Gray loves this little book, even though, even though this says it's only for up to 18 months old. He loves it. Look, dog. Yeah, kitty cat. Yeah. Bird. <coughs> Ladybug. He likes this because you put your fingers no. through it. Whoa. Yeah. Star. Crinkle, crinkle. I need to put this suitcase downstairs, but I keep forgetting to take it down, and Gray thinks it's a toy for him. He likes to push it around because it wheels everywhere, so he thinks it's pretty fun. Gray actually slept in today. He um, woke up at like, well, I didn't wake up till nine, but when I turned the monitor on, he was already up. He just wasn't making any noise. So I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I ended up taking that pill uh, prescription that my doctor gave me, which is like a combination of Unisom and B6. And Unisom, I guess people take it at night to like help sleep. But I didn't want to take it at night the night before because um, I had already taken a bunch of B6. I didn't want to overdo it. So I waited until the morning and I took it because I didn't want to wait until yesterday night because then that would have been like a long time without B6 and I was worried that the nausea was going to come back really bad. So I ended up taking it in the morning and wow, like within 30 minutes of taking it, I was immediately like so tired and the whole day I was like a zombie. I never nap. Like whenever Grayson's napping, I usually like do stuff on, on the computer, edit vlogs, whatever. I put Grayson down for his nap and I immediately went to my bed and just like crashed like the whole time he took a nap. I was so tired. And then even after that, like even after I got a nap in, like I was still exhausted. And I was like irritable and moody the whole day because I was so tired. And like Grayson, he's getting into like the twos where he has like an opinion and his emotions change really fast. And so I was getting really frustrated with that. It was just like a really bad day. And I was like, I'm never gonna do this again. So you can take two pills a day. So I ended up taking one last night and then it knocked me out and now we're here this morning i slept until nine i guess <laughs> and i'm feeling good i'm not feeling tired i'm not feeling nauseous i was actually feeling hungry this morning like actually really really hungry so i had breakfast and yeah i'm feeling good like i i think i still have a little bit of nausea like it's just like in the background but it's nothing compared to what it usually is so I think this medication is is working pretty well. Um, I usually don't like to take medication to help me sleep at night just because I have a really hard time waking up in the morning from it. Gray's taking up the spotlight. <laughs> but um, I feel okay today, although I did sleep till like nine. So maybe we'll see tomorrow when he gets up. At, Cause usually Grayson gets up at like 7.38. So today was just, odd but I, so far so good like so far I'm feeling good so I'm gonna give this a couple more days and if it's still going well then I'll just call into the pharmacy and like or my doctor's office or whatever and see if I can get like a prescription I'm not sure if our insurance is gonna cover it or not and how much it'll be but hopefully um, hopefully it won't be too expensive so we'll see what do you think, Gray? You got the hiccups? I've taught him. Let's see if he'll do it. Grayson, where's the baby? Grayson, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? He's not into it. <laughs> so I have to make a confession. 
Grayson is 21 months old. He'll be 22 months in, in a couple days, a couple weeks. And I still have him on bottles. I know, I know you're all yelling at me like, what are you doing? They say to stop bottles by the time the child turns one. He's gonna be two in April and it's end of January right now. So I know, I know that was really bad of me, but it was just so easy with the bottles. And another bad thing that I would do is I would feed him milk right before his naps and right before bed because it was just easy. He liked going to bed. I'll put a clip in here. He was excited to go to bed the other day because he knew he was getting milk. Listen. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to night? I do. You do? Say please. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> He's saying please on his back. You want to go to night? I do. Okay, come on. Let's go upstairs. Run upstairs. Well, that needs to stop. I'm pregnant, another baby's coming, we gonna, that baby's gonna need bottles. I don't wanna have two kids on bottles, that's ridiculous. So, I'm gonna try and change over to sippy cups from now on and not do bottles anymore. So, I've seen a couple people on YouTube and they've used this Nuck sippy cup and it has like a spout, it's like a soft silicone spout and it's like similar to a bottle but it's like a little different. It's like a good transition cup. So I have Gray drinking that right now. This is the first time he's drank this. It's really cute. It's got like trucks and stuff on the outside and he seems to be doing pretty good with it. It was a really great game. So... I've tried to use other sippy cups and put milk in it before and it's like he didn't know what to do with it and the milk would just like run down his uh, mouth into like his neck and stuff and he'd get all gross. This one he seems to be doing better with. Um, so I'm going to try to start giving him milk like just during the day instead of like right before nap and right before bed. Um, because eventually I am going to want him potty trained and I am going to want him to like wake up dry and that's not going to happen if I keep giving him milk like right before he goes to bed. So he's nowhere near potty trained, potty training ready yet. Um, he doesn't care if he poops or pees in his diaper, like he doesn't tell me, he could sit in it, it doesn't bother him. So he's not ready for that yet, but... <clears throat> Might as well start getting ready. So I'm gonna start with like giving him milk in like this little sippy cup, transition cup thing, like before bed and before nap, but like an hour beforehand, not like right beforehand and rocking him in the rocking chair. And then um, I'll just, I'm just gonna do a different routine. Like for nap, I'll just read a story in the rocking chair and then put him down. And then bedtime, we always do brushing our teeth, and then I'll do another book, and then put him down. So it's going to be rough these next couple days, I know, because he's not going to like the change. What, what person likes change? No one likes change, and especially toddlers who don't really understand what's going on. So I understand it's going to be hard. Hopefully we can stick to it and I don't have to go back to bottles because I would really like to just pitch these and then I'll just get new ones for the new baby because these are so old and they've been well loved. So I have that for him. I also got, um, once he transitions out, like once he gets used to that sippy cup transition cup thing, I got this, um, this nook and it just has a um, straw on it. And I'm hoping eventually he will transition to just drinking milk out of that with a straw. And then we'll just have like, I have a bunch of like hard spout sippy cups and I have these like 360 cups. He just hasn't been ready for those yet. So um, yeah, once we can transition to like the straws and the hard spouts, then I'll be feeling good. So hopefully he'll still go to bed even though he's not getting milk right before bed. I'm kind of nervous about it though. Wish me luck. The dinosaur say. <laughs> it is Elmo and a dinosaur. What's the dinosaur say?
the one song right now. So just a little update on today. I gave Gray his sippy cup with milk in it or, um, before his nap and he drank it. <laughs> he didn't even finish it all. And then we went upstairs and we read a book and I put him in his crib. And he definitely seemed surprised, like, wait a minute, this is not what we usually do. And he was kind of fussing, but he was up for a while, and then eventually he did take a nap, like, he did go to sleep. I thought for sure he would stay up, so he didn't. And then it's, like, 6 o'clock now, so it's hour before Gray's bedtime. I just gave him his second sippy cup of milk. He is, he's drinking all. He's just watching Elmo and drinking it. This time he drank it all. So hopefully we'll have another smooth um, transition to bed. We'll see. We're going to do um, jammies, teeth brushing, um, a book, and then bed. So we'll see how that goes. As for me, I've been feeling okay. I was feeling great earlier. And then as the day has gone on, I feel like the medicine is wearing off. And so I am feeling a little more nauseous than what I was. I'm really tired. <laughs> So I feel like when I take this medicine tonight, it's going to knock me out. Yeah, I do feel like the medicine is wearing off, but overall it, it has helped. Like I was feeling great earlier and hungry and stuff. And it has helped a little bit because I have been eating and that does help with the nausea. But um, I also went to the store today and got some lemon heads. They say this, if you have sour candy, it helps. So hopefully um, that'll help a little bit, but yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with this medication and hopefully it'll just get me through these next couple weeks until my nausea subsides, but yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. We're doing good and I need to clean up this mess. This gray is messy, so that's my plan before bed. What do you think, gray? But I think that's all for this video. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure you push the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.